Hey everybody, Kristen here, and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in simplifying minimalism, then stick around. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about five habits that I've started to implement that have honestly just been a game changer for me that have really helped improve my physical and my, as well as my mental health. So these are the five tips. First tip is, of course, very, very basic. It's probably what most people recommend, but it is drink a lot of water and a lot of water. Uh, one of the ways that I would say that you do this is by finding your favorite water bottle and sticking with it. So if that's a Stanley cup, great. If it's not a Stanley cup, like for me, not really my jam. Find a water bottle that you really love and enjoy and that's gonna help you drink more water. And this may mean that you're putting like flavored packets in it or something like that in order to drink more water or drinking tea. But the point is find a water bottle that you really love and enjoy. And I promise you will drink more water by having a water bottle with you everywhere you go. Next habit, habit number two, do what you value and what you actually want to do. If you value and love swimming, swim. If you value and love reading, read. Do more of what you value and what you enjoy. So for me, that's reading. It's exercising. It's drinking lots of water. It's having a clean space that's not cluttered. It's making time for family and friends. It's volunteering. It's trying new things. It's all of those things. One, tip number three is daily meditation and just like daily deep breathing, paced breathing exercises. Now I can do a specific video that's geared on like specific meditations, breathing exercises, body scans, and different things that I do personally, if you guys are interested. But basically what I do is I do a lot of just basic deep breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. Number four is just to get daily movement. I really don't know how that looks like for you. Maybe it's taking a 30 minute walk every day. Maybe it's going to the gym. Maybe it's going for a run. Maybe it's hiking. Maybe it's biking. Maybe it's going for a swim. Maybe it's yoga. Maybe it's just a simple basic meditation. Maybe it's Pilates. Maybe it's a spin class. Like whatever is going to get you most likely to get out and get moving and move your body. That's what I recommend. Last one is tip number five is name five things that you're grateful for each day. Now, the reason I feel like this is so important is because I think we can get so caught up in like stressors and the negative, like so caught up in it, so caught up in complaining and being discontent and and like all the bad things, right? And the problem with that is that we are essentially spreading that negativity around us and we're exuding that in our interactions with other people, in our relationships, and it impacts that. It impacts other people and it impacts our mood. And so I've just found having a heart of gratitude every single day is so important for my mental health and just for me to have like a better day so i start off the day by naming five things i'm grateful for now some days this looks like me writing in my journal and writing them down sometimes it looks like me driving in the car and naming five maybe 30 things i'm grateful for on my ride to work sometimes it looks like me thanking god through prayer like it looks a little bit different each day but basically it's five things that i'm grateful for and mind that those are my five habits that I have been trying to implement every single day and to be honest they've helped me so much in improving my mood and just improving my overall well-being physically mentally like when I'm not doing them when I'm not exercising when I'm dehydrated when I'm not sleeping allowing my space to get really messy when and then skip my daily gratitude like it impacts me and so for me I know that it's a big deal. So I'm going to continue to do these daily habits. I'll try out these five habits and let me know how they go for you. Comment down below five things you're grateful for. I'd love to hear some positivity spread around. Until next time, it's a beautiful day to simplify. Bye y'all.